Uh, my name is Mark Takis, and I'm the director of engineering for the hub motor. The, the hub motor architecture has a lot of advantages over a standard electric vehicle drivetrain. Um, first and foremost is the lack of complexity. So you don't have a gearbox, you don't have shafts, you don't have a lot of the other moving parts that could potentially break or go wrong. Um, it's just a motor on each wheel. And then the second one is configurability. So technically, if one of the front motors failed, the vehicle could very easily divert power to the rear and just operate in two-wheel drive. So the event of a motor failing is fairly unlikely. Um, we do a lot of durability testing for the motors. These things are, are very durable. One of the more interesting facts relative to that is that all the motors that came off of the crash test vehicles still function as designed. Alafi does a lot of testing for hot temperatures, cold temperatures, vibration, shock. Um, one of the more interesting tests is a, a 100G shock test. So they do 40 instances of 100 times gravity shock load on the motor and it functions fine. Another interesting one is we freeze the motor uh, for 24 hours and then turn power onto it. So ice is accumulated on the motor. When they turn it on, all the, all the ice breaks off. So very durable and pretty much all conditions. Changing a tire is pretty much the exact same as any other vehicle. So there's nothing special due to the hub motor technology for changing the tire. You take the lug nuts off, you, you remove the rim, and you're essentially staring at the rotor. But, um, but yeah, no, no different from any other car. Our goal is for the experience for the driver to be very similar to what they would experience with a gas-powered vehicle, except that there's no gas, there's no fuel, and there's less maintenance with an electric vehicle with a hub motor. I think when the vehicle's not software limited, what you'll find is a truck that handles extremely well, is fast, and is very fun to drive.